Yeah, I'm in rough shape and I have two days of all day photo shoots coming up. Not sure how we're gonna do this. A lot of Advil. So today's an interesting one. I'm actually going to photograph the kickoff of a demolition of an Akron factory that we actually ride our bikes through. Uh, it's along some of our industrial gravel routes. So I looked at the map, I'm like, okay, where's this photo shoot? Then I'm like, oh, they're tearing down the building that we ride through sometimes. So yeah, we'll head there and then we have some other work to do. I am definitely gonna have to take off my dirty windbreaker when I get there. Uh, it's still filthy from Road Apple Roubaix and all the big shots in Akron are probably going to be at this event so I kind of wear what I want but I don't want to look like a total slob just a regular slob gonna be on this campus on my bike a lot the next couple months tons of gigs for the University of Akron coming up actually had one last night too It'll be funny if anyone's looking when I show up through our cut. <laughs> That gig's done. Uh, on to the next. I have some public art to photograph for curated storefronts over by the bike shop, actually. One of the guys I gotta get. Oh, I think that's one of my photos advertising this place. This would be a cool storefront if someone bought it and turned it into some kind of restaurant. It's the old O'Neill's department store. I don't know how, but when I was at that first gig, by the time I left, my back was freezing up, my lower back, where I've had problems before. Um, made a number of videos about it, been laid up before with it. I didn't do anything noticeable, but I am in pain. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and keep moving. And I don't know, see how this all shakes out. But hopefully it's minor, but there's a chance I can't get out of bed tomorrow. Stop to take a photo of the remnant of the last B.F. Goodrich smokestack. I always talk about this building, um, it's now not a building, but yeah, once the largest rubber factory in the world. But I'm going to get dinner in one of its old buildings as well. So change of plan. I'm really hungry. I'm going to see if uh, my buddies there have any Advil, and then hopefully I'm able to get up off my bar stool after dinner. <laughs> I'm hurting. The other reason to stop and eat right now is some of the photos I need to take of the storefronts. They light up at night, so I need them after dark. So, 5.09 now. By the time I go back out, the sun should be set and maybe I could get some good after dark shots. Yeah, I'm in 
in rough shape and I have two days of all day photo shoots coming up. Not sure how we're gonna do this. A lot of ad though. So that was Thursday evening. Today it's Monday morning as I'm recording this. Uh, early Monday afternoon actually with the time change. But I was kind of scared. Um, when I've tweaked my back before, I've always known that I've done something bad. Like the time that actually made me like bedridden for almost two weeks, I was in the garden pulling weeds. I stood up and kind of twisted as I stood up. I felt something pop, went and worked at my desk. And then when I went to step away from my desk, I didn't realize I had been putting pressure on my hands to keep my back supported. I couldn't move. Um, I had to call my parents. They had to bring me a walker and Advil. I had to wait till the Advil kicked in and then slowly get myself to bed. And I, uh, I was in bad shape. So you could see why I was scared when it happened when I started to feel pain in the same position. The thing is, I don't know what happened this time. Was it throwing my camera over my shoulder? Was it the way I got on or off my bike? I don't know, because I never felt anything. But yeah, Thursday night I got home, got in bed, got on the heating pad, which is what I'm doing now. Uh, <laughs> resting a little bit, editing the photos from the weekend, and just, I, I'm glad because it never got that bad. So I was able to get up Friday and go to work. I got up extra early, took Advil like went back to sleep and then went to the gig. I was actually, as I moved around on my feet, I was fine. I moved slowly, deliberately, but okay. And today I feel better than I have all weekend. I had to work all day Saturday too. So I'm hopeful that it's a minor thing. I even might ride the bike today. Um, obviously I wouldn't be doing anything crazy off-road or anything like that. So it's frustrating because I have been since the new year, as I've talked about in other videos, just trying to do everything right. So in the evening, I've been doing sit-ups and stuff like that to strengthen the core. I've been doing lateral stretches and exercises to kind of get that lateral motion, which everyone, the chiropractors, the massages or masseuses, whatever, have all told me that's what I need because all the local motion from bike riding and back when I first had back problems still running, I just didn't get any kind of motion like this. And that was all they felt like one of my problems. So. You know, when you do everything right and then you don't even know what you did wrong, um, it's frustrating. And from have, making videos like this, I've talked to a lot of you of si similar situations and have had issues and injuries. So, you know, it's, it's part of life. Uh, it's part of, definitely part of getting older, unfortunately. But, so hopefully I'll be back at it. Hopefully uh, things don't shake out too bad. I have, um, obviously I haven't shot any more ride videos. I'm lucky too, the weather wasn't that great over the weekend. And as I said, I was so busy that it didn't really matter. I didn't really have time to ride. Maybe I would have rode to a couple of the gigs, but whatever. Um, Psych Plus, I've shown their stuff on the channel before, sent me two new um, electric pumps. So I'm going to show these in some upcoming videos. They added um, pressure gauges. So now you have a digital gauge to see what you're putting in. So a huge improvement, obviously, for a bicycle tire product. So yeah, and then some other things in the work. We'll see how it all goes. I've been posting a lot to my photography channel uh, as well, which has been doing pretty cool. So I'll link that at the end if you want to check that out if you're into the photo stuff, which is what this channel more started out as anyway. So anyways, I will see you in the next one. Thanks as always for all your support. Thanks for watching. Give this video that thumbs up. Peace.